I want to offer you quick observations about human, uh, the human experience and America and how it's constructed and compare and contrast the two a little bit because I think they match up very well and there's real power and I think many of the things that we are struggling with as a nation now are, uh, are related to not matching those up very well. Humans, we all have a common desire, let me see if I can catch up here, we have a, a common desire for um, purpose, significance, joy, and connection. We want our lives to matter. We want to touch other people and, and, be, and stand before other people and them find us acceptable and us find them acceptable. Connection. We want joy, which is deeper than happiness. There's a real mental component to joy. It's a satisfied thinking kind of, of, uh, of happiness. Humans are also progressive. That's why we have to be careful where we're going to plug our attention and our activity looking for uh, significance. And what I mean by that is that uh, if you are going to uh, enjoy an alcoholic beverage and you're going to put a lot of emphasis in that, you can uh, get by with one good one a week at first. But pretty soon it takes two. And pretty soon you find yourself one a night. And then pretty soon two a night. And so on. Why? Because we're not long satisfied where we are. It's, it's built in. It's true, no matter what we plug in to our lives looking for significance, we want more of it. I think it's the curve in the boomerang put there by our maker to bring us back to him, personally. It's that universal and it's that, uh, it's, it's that uh, powerful in each of our lives. That's why you, I, I really recommend that we be careful what we plug into that, into that empty spot. Um, we are also animals which can envision the future and can remember the past. So far as we know, we're the only animals that can do that. And that leads then to the notion of time use. Time and life are the same thing. Don't waste time, Ben Franklin said, for that's the stuff life is made of. 